Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Martine and I'm an artist and illustrator. First of all, first and foremost, I want to wish everyone a happy new year. This is probably going to be my first or second <laughs> video of the year. Um, I like to pre-record my videos and post them. But anyway, nonetheless, happy new year to you all. So in today's video, I wanted to share a book um, that I found very, very useful as I am trying to get into children's book illustration. And I thought I would share this book because it is presented so well. The information um, is so like needed and it's so informative and presented so well and it's easy to understand that I really felt like other budding artists and illustrators could really benefit um, you know at least for me showing the book online and if you're interested further you can go ahead and buy it or take it out in the library this particular copy is a library book but I do plan on buying the book for myself as a constant resource for myself, okay? So this book is How to Be a Children's Book Illustrator and it is written and illustrated by Ruth Hammond. Um, it's a hardcover and it's really filled chalk filled with um, really good information and the illustrations are just beautiful and this is published by 3d total publishing I believe they're somewhere in the UK all right so we're gonna get right into the contents here okay right away you can see you know that it's giving you information on considering your audience the kids ages the diversity, cultural background, tones, those are all of the, those are not all of the things, but some of the things that you really need to consider before you sit down and like write your book. For illustrators, sometimes we get the text of the book. So the text is already written and we have to draw pictures um, to go with the text so it's not always I know there are some you know illustrators that also write the books as well that they illustrate but if you're just a straight up illustrator you will be receiving the text from the author all right so it goes on about illustrating ongoing narrative telling the story engagement all this really good information and then it has sample stories which I will go over one particular story that I like so basically it has your standard introduction considering your audience you know the age ranges consider the age ranges the diversity making sure that you display diversity considering the diversity and cultural backgrounds um, of the readers and the tone um, anticipating how different backgrounds different ages will interpret the information that all has to be considered yeah see interpreting the story and making sure that your reader can interpret the, the story on the level that they're on. Um, picture planning, uh, for me thumbnailing is key. I have to thumbnail, I have to sketch before I do anything because I, um, I have to, I, that's just how my brain works. I have to know where everything is going. So thumbnails is really beneficial to my process. Um, creating characters there's information about your page planning you know for the 32 spread because that is a typical number of pages of a children's book um, the staging the pacing narrative devices things that you key narrative devices 
action, conflict, humor, perspective, um, leaving space for, you know, white space, leaving space for text and things like that. Um, the environment, um, showing the personality of your characters. This book is has really good information. And I know that everybody, when I was searching for books on children's illustration, it was always directing me to Martin Sal Salisbury, where I know that he's a great illustrator in all of that and a teacher in, of illustration and all. But honestly, his books did not really teach me anything. It was just his views. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I knocked the camera. It was just his views and um, on illustration. And um, I needed something more instructional, you know, um, that's kind of pushing me in a particular direction. That's um, how I learn. That's, you know, what makes me tick. So anyway, engagement. This book goes over relatability and, um, you know, when you're working with your words, how to format your spreads and leaving room for text, typography. These are all very important things. Um, you know, then it goes into illustration as a profession. It, it's really building your portfolio, marketing and promotion, how you're marketing yourself, your website, things of that nature, working with publishers and about self-publishing, some legal things, you know, about your book contracts, um, and troubleshooting, dealing with challenging themes. You know, these are all things that illustrators and artists will deal with. You know, actually, I just got a rejection email today. <laughs> um, but anyway, rejection from publishers, artists block. So these are all things that are really important to consider, you know, when you are, you know, pursuing this children's illustration path. And like I said in the beginning, there are sample stories in here too. So I'm just going to go through one of the stories and um, yeah. Where is that story I wanted to do? No, this is not it. Okay. I like this story, This Is Me, because it's an example of a very, a group of diverse characters. And um, this illustrator, Dapo Ediola, he's self-taught, and um, I like that. All right, so here he has, um, a few of his characters, you know, just saying, this is like a book of, of affirmation for kids. Like, I can clap my hands. I can stomp my feet, nod my head, wiggle my body, jump up and down, spin around. You see this character, he's in a wheelchair and he could, you know what I'm saying? But he's affirming the fact that he's in a wheelchair like it doesn't matter that I'm in a wheelchair I can do like cool things you know look at her she's Muslim and she can nod her head um you know what I'm saying like I can sing a song and it's just a a book of affirming kids and letting them know like just because you are different doesn't mean that you can't do certain things I can play with my friends I can hug my family and me and me and me so this is me you know a very diverse cast of characters and I and that's the type of book 
that is really popular in the children's book industry is books that are displaying diversity, books that are affirming, books that are lifting kids up, and things like that. So that was one of the sample stories. And there are a few, like a lot more sample stories in here um, where they highlight the illustrator and then they offer the insights from the actual illustrator as far as their process on how they develop their characters, how they develop the poses, how, you know, this particular illustrator sketched the same character in different poses trying to find just the right one. Like here, yeah, different poses and gestures and the line of action, which is really important, backgrounds, and really just analyzing the characters and giving insight and information on how he got to, you know, where he got to with his book. So there are other, like I said, other sample stories in here. Um, what's this one? This looks fun. Super Vegetable Boy. That's by Greg Dobbins, illustrated by Orilan Ori Galvan. You know, and all of these pictures are just so beautifully illustrated and drawn. So I, I think this book is very valuable, extremely valuable um, for budding and up and coming artists and illustrators. It really gives you all a lot of information that you need to, to really get started in a progressive way, you know, and not just wondering how you should do things or wondering what people are looking for this gives you the information that you need to really get started and i highly highly recommend this book all right guys i'm gonna leave the video there i want to thank you for watching and thank you to all my new subscribers thank you for subbing there definitely will be more videos coming up in this new year, I'm just trying to balance life and looking for work and being a content creator and an artist all at one time. <laughs> so again, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Take care.